What's up my dudes? In this video I want to compare my RS19 High Talk, which I've been riding for 3700 kilometers with the Bigot T4, which is supposed to replace my RS. I have quite a lot of different topics I want to talk about in this video. I won't be able to cover every aspect, but most of them. And in the end of the video, you will know if it's worth to upgrade or maybe just stick to your RS. And well, what should I say? I do have mixed feelings about selling the RS because it's so fun. It's like the power. It's just crazy. And the first thing I want to talk about, like always, is the price. And when this wheel was released, like two and a half years ago or so, it was around 1,800 euros, like pretty similar to US dollars. And it kind of has gotten more expensive for some reason, which I do not understand because by now it's 2,200 to 2,500 euros, which is close to the Big OT4 already. And that's, that's kind of odd for a wheel that old. Anyways, you can get it used for 1,000, 1,500 bucks, somewhere in this range and this price point. And I plan to sell this wheel with these 3,700 kilometers for roughly 1,000, 1,100 bucks. Um, I think that's a fair price. And that's actually a great price for beginners to start with. The T4, however, is almost impossible to get used right now because it's quite a new wheel and they just published the V3. So you might be lucky and get it used for 2000 bucks or something. But if you buy it new, it should be at the price range between 2300 to 2500, depending on your dealer and depending on where you live. That's actually a great plus point, the lift switch, which is just really easy to access and just great. It's perfect. Like there's nothing to complain about the lift switch. And this is the lift switch of the Bigot T4. You press twice here. Let me show you. It still stands by itself, but you can press it forwards and backwards. It it still has this balance point, which is really great. Um, so if I lift it up now, that works. But if I tilt it in an angle, it starts beeping, which is which can be annoying. Um, yeah, I think it got itself now. Everything I want to say is the lift switch works, but the lift switch on the RS is way nicer. Let's talk about the tech specs. While the T4 has a 2500 watt motor, a 1800 watt battery, two charge ports, weighs 33 kilograms and comes in with a display, the RS comes with 100 watts more than the T4. That means the motor has 2600 watts and it has two charge ports like the T4 plus a USB type A charge port, which is really great to just I actually used it a few times to just charge my camera, my phone, my headphones, whatever. I mean, it's kind of the biggest power bank you could imagine on a wheel, I would say. What it doesn't have is the display, but I have my watch, I have my phone. You don't really need a display, but it's, it's, it's nice to have. And I know nobody of Bigot is probably watching this video, but Bigot, can you please bring the charge port back for your phone, like a Type C or a Type A? It's just, it's just so convenient. Hmm. 
when talking about stairs, even you have the bigger tire with 18 inch on this wheel. Oh, holy sh it's just way smoother on the 16 inch wheel because of the 10 centimeter suspension. The size and convenience factor. While I ride my RS kind of almost every day to the gym, and now it's the T4, actually, most of the time it's the M104. The RS fits just perfectly into gym lockers, at least that's my experience with two different gyms. The T4 barely fits into the locker. Actually, I can show you. To fit it into the locker, you need to take this thing up, bring it up to be able to close the pedal. Otherwise, you can't close the pedal. Then it looks like here, and then it doesn't fit. I know first world problems, but still something to mention. And that means for me, the size of the T4 is kind of the limit where you can say, well, I can still bring it to a subway, to a bus, to a restaurant, whatever. But if you have the choice to take a smaller wheel, you would probably always consider the smaller wheel. But one thing I want to mention about being in the train with a T4, which was actually really cool the other day, there was kind of no place for me to sit and even standing was not that easy. But with the T4, you can just sit in the subway and you always have a seat. I think that's kind of cool. Which brings me to the next topic, the transportation. And you want to differentiate between public transport and your own transport. Maybe you have a big car and you don't care about it at all. Or you have a small car like my dad, he has a SLK 200, a Mercedes. And how you can see, I'm pretty sure I have this picture here, of the Kingsong S18 and my RRS and they were fitting barely together into the trunk with the T4 forget about it completely forget about it you will get the T4 inside I'm pretty sure but that's it maybe the Anton 4 on top Another thing to mention is the noise of the RS, which are actually three things. The first one is a constant high-pitched beeping. It's just always there when you turn the wheel on and I think it's quite annoying. I think my stepdad can't hear it anymore, um, but I can hear it and a lot of others. The second thing is the fan itself inside the RS, which is really loud, at least the stock one. I made a video how to replace the fan on the RS to a fan which is more quiet. It's not as powerful but it's way more quiet and people were actually asking me if that's the engine which is so loud because they had no idea about electric unicycles and <laughs> I don't know if they were thinking there's a gas motor inside and the third thing is the charger. You can obviously buy a better, faster, more quiet charger, but the stock charger it comes with is really loud. So while I was charging it in the library while studying, ah, holy shit, the pedals are actually really slippery. Um, they really suck. So while I was charging my T4 in the library while studying, I kind of felt bad sometimes charging my RS because it was so loud. The T4 charger also has a fan, but it's really quiet. So it just doesn't annoy me when charging, which is really great. And speaking about chargers, the T4 charger with the 6 amp charges the wheel in 3.5 hours, where the RS charger, I mean you can always upgrade it, but the stock one with 2 amps charges the wheel in 6 hours, which is a huge difference. 
I'm really happy with the stock charger except it's a little big. If you know about a small, fast, efficient, great, maybe not too expensive charger, would be nice to know. Maybe you can comment something, that would be nice. Thank you. Let's talk about the design, which is for me a quite important factor as well. And while I do enjoy, let's go there. I've never been there. While I do enjoy the LED stripes on the RS, which also work as a braking light, and this boxy look, which kind of looks okay. The T4, however, looks more futuristic, at least to me. More modern, more well-built, not that boxy look in the back. You can see the headlights and the suspension. Um, to make it short, I like the look of the RS. I prefer the look of the T4. Especially with all these Whistler fairings around, that makes the wheel just looks like complete. Maybe. I forgot to talk about the range. The range is really similar, I would say. Maybe a little more actually with the RS because you ride not as fast, because you don't have a suspension and because the wheel is not that fast. If you ride a lot of trails and mountains, we have a lot of mountains around, expect something around 50 kilometers, which is around 30 miles, or maybe you can do 80 kilometers if you have flat surface, you are maybe riding in the city, not as fast. 80 should be, should be possible. That means it's 50 miles. I did my research for all the Americans out there. <laughs> And please don't get me wrong, even I really enjoyed the last 3700 kilometers on this wheel and also off-roading on this wheel with, with this unlimited amount of power. Off-roading the T4 is another level to the RS, especially because of the suspension, but also because of the pedal height. It's just a huge difference if you have 23 or 16 centimeters. Let's call it 20 or 21 centimeters because as soon you step on the wheel, it goes down a little because of the suspension. So, but all in all, six centimeters difference. I just love off-roading on this wheel and I don't mean this off-roading, I mean like literally MTB trails because it's just so nimble and the only other wheel I would probably consider right now would be the pattern. I don't know about the 16 inch Extreme Bull Commander Extreme Bull um, because they were about to release something. But the pattern is already seven kilograms heavier again and if you need to carry your wheel up and down every day, I would think twice about it. 39 kilograms can be quite a lot. And I would really like to take you guys to one of the trails I have around here and show you the off-roading part. But it's still muddy and especially the trails, they are so muddy. I just, I just don't want to go into this mud right now. I don't want to swim in mud. I hope that's okay. I will make a full review on the T4 and then I will show you definitely some off-roading footage. I think it's pretty cool. Now I want to come back to the talk I was talking about earlier in the video because even the RS does have more torque and it feels like more torquey accelerating probably because there's no suspension. It won't really help you going up a really steep mountain in the mud because you are missing the grip. Um, you will see here in a second. Let me just turn. Turning is another thing with these not too high pedals. Uh, yeah, it is possible. But you yeah, need to be careful to not lose uh, the grip. It's actually possible. Nice. This is steep. 
Ooh. I'm leaning all the way into my uh, toes, feet, front feet, hoop, toes. Whoa. That was close. I don't know if you could see that, but uh, these 16 centimeters of pedal clearance it's just sometimes not enough for off-roading this mountain feels definitely easier on the t4 but i mean how often do you do these kind of inclines and you can't hear it but you can see it that's at 70 degrees right now after this incline um, that's not cool that's not nice now it's cooling down again. I got the alarm in my headphones at now 69 is fine again. I feel like going over 60 degrees is not necessary. It's kind of warm for a motherboard already. I mean, I just don't want to destroy it. Compared to the RS, the T4 stays relatively cool. I have never had problems overheating it and it doesn't make a noise because I haven't seen a fan in the wheel actually. Um, I'm pretty sure there is no fan in the wheel, which is good and bad, I guess, but it hasn't, it hasn't had overheated yet. So that's really good. Okay, different day, different wheel. I will try to get up here and yeah it is kind of muddy but going up up the same mountain with the t4 and the suspension is definitely nicer and a high pedal clearance that's somewhere where i lost my feet from the rs because of the 16 centimeters of pedal clearance how you can see this is not a big deal I mean I don't want to push the wheel too much but it does its job pretty well and when we now look at our temperature it's a little cooler today it was 19 degrees um, we have 43 degrees on the wheel 42 already it's cooling down 41 that goes really fast and 40 so that's a 30 degree difference that's a lot <laughs> i love that suspension i haven't had a summer with a t4 so i can't tell you everything about overheating but for me it looks like it won't overheat on you in normal conditions Was it worth it to buy the T4 and sell the RS? Even if it's heavier, bigger, not necessarily faster, not a better range, more expensive, I still think it was worth it. And that's because of the high pedal clearance. It's just amazing how high these pedals are compared to the RS. I do enjoy the suspension. It's it's a good suspension. It's it's smooth. It's it does its job. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you could take something out of it. So if you feel like leaving a like or a comment, because this video was quite time-consuming to make um, usually I don't ask for it I know but I hope you enjoyed the video you will see each other in a bunch of other videos I have planned probably the watch video soon maybe a law video about France because I will be in Strasbourg soon so I can officially legally write for a few days and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video <laughs>